Now, I don't want to seem superficial because looks are absolutely not the most important thing, but I love sharing tips and tricks of how to instantly look better, to instantly look prettier, more attractive. You just feel better about yourself. I will be sharing a lot of befores and afters. Instant gratification is what we're going for. So let's get started. Number one, we're starting with hair because your hair can really make a big difference in your appearance. And I'm thrilled to be teaming up with Vegamore for the launch of a brand new product. I think it launches today. Maybe it was yesterday yesterday, but it is their Hydrate Weightless Repair Oil. And it is completely different than any other hair oil I have ever tried because it actually has no silicones in it. And every other hair oil has silicones, which can make your hair look good for a little while, but the silicones build up on your hair over time and it really weighs down your hair. But this one is just completely different. It's actually more of a liquid, but it's also kind of an oil. It's just a different formula. And the stats of this Thing. First of all, let me just show you the before and after because it really, like, that's where I feel like it shines. Speaking of shine, it gives you 96% shine instantly. So here's the before of my hair. It's not terrible, um, but I feel like my hair looks dull. I feel like it looks a little bit frizzy. It just doesn't look as good as it could. And a lot of times, you know, I, I have my hair like this. A little will go a long way. Just start with one pump, put it in your hand, rub your hands together, and then start, you know, putting into your hair, usually around like the mid length all the way down to the ends. And you will instantly see how much shinier your hair looks. It will tame flyaways and frizziness for 72 hours, which is amazing. And the first time you use it, it reduces breakage in your hair by 92%. So this is just very healthy for your hair. It gives you instant gratification and it literally makes your hair look so much better for the rest of the day. But again, it doesn't continually weigh your hair down with bad silicones. Now this is meant for all hair types, but if you happen to have thin or fine hair, you should try this because again, it doesn't make your hair heavy and greasy. It's, it's just completely different. So if you're wondering, you know, what's in this, it has marula oil, it has vitamin C oil, it has a chia seed seed blend and it smells phenomenal. It's like a warm cardamom, like a hint of vanilla, a little, little bit of sage. Like I looked up what it smells like because I couldn't even put it into words, but I am so impressed with this. And you know, I've worked with Vegamore for several years now. So I still have my code with them. If you're interested in giving this a try, they have the regular size. They also have a travel size, but you can use code Shay for 20% off site-wide. It doesn't just have to be for this. If you've been wanting to try their famous scalp serum that I've been using for for years, you could try that. And then under that same hydrate line, there's the hydrate shampoo and conditioner. And this is like the only shampoo and conditioner I've ever tried where I truly see an instant difference in my hair for hydration and moisturization the first time I used it. So love this stuff too. But again, my code will work for everything on their site. You can click around, read reviews, look at before and after photos. I will have them linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comment section. Number two, also has to do with hair. And I feel like a lot of you aren't going to like it because I mean, it is definitely instant. However, it can be a big change and it's actually dyeing your hair back to your natural hair color because there's a lot of you, and I used to do this myself, that, you know, I just went on for years being a blonde. Let's insert a photo. Like I used to be blonde and, and people thought of me as a blonde and looking back, it's odd to me because now my hair is the natural hair color that God gave me. And again, this doesn't work for everybody, but there was some experiment done. Um, I saw it on TikTok where people wore wigs and then, you know, votes came in and, and it turned out that people's natural hair color made them look more attractive than the color that they had been dyeing their hair. And, and again, it doesn't work for everyone, but it's something to at least consider if you feel like you're stuck in a rut. Okay, let's move on to the face because this video is all about looking prettier. And so we're going to hone in on some specific features with great befores and afters to make a big difference. We're starting with the lips because I always do this before I start my makeup and I actually actually use this product throughout the day, even before bed. This is legitimately, I would say, a life-changing product because here are my lips before, okay? This is what my lips look like every day. They're dry, they're chapped, they're peeling. They are a desert. And this works on bare lips, but it also works over top lip liner and lipstick. But let's start with the bare lips. You put some on and you know, you just wait like 20 seconds for it to fill in those fine lines to kind of plump up your, your lips. It has hyaluronic acid, it has collagen. Oh my gosh, look at my lips. 
20 seconds later. It is drastic. I love this so much. Today, I'm wearing it over top my uh, lip liner and it just, it's beautiful. I use it throughout the day many times, but this is actually a night treatment. So you could put it on before bed and it'll work overnight. I would say it's like a, 10 times better version of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Like this is way better. Now I wanna be clear, this video is not sponsored by Marae, um, but I did get a code from them for another video. So if you wanna get 30% off of this on Amazon, you can use that code. Let's talk about eyebrows next. And this is not what you're, you're gonna expect me to say. So there's kind of two, two things I wanna share here. Um, number one, if you do nothing else, at least in the morning, at least, brush your eyebrows. And you might as well just get a brow tint that already has the, like the eyebrow spoolie, but it has the brow tint stuff on it. And then you just take five seconds and you at least brush your brows. It adds a little bit of pigment and it, it, it just like here you can see the before and the after so much better. It makes your face look so much better. And it's, it's so simple. Now, if you want to take it a step further, this, this is, this is what I, you're not expecting me to say. This is called tattoo brow, but I'm not actually saying you should tattoo your brows, but a lot of people do that with the microblading. This is kind of similar to that, but it only lasts three to four days, but it saves you time. And you paint this formula onto your brows. It looks really freaking weird. And you let it dry for like 20 minutes. And it says that you're supposed to peel it off. I've actually never been able to peel it off. I just wash it off, but it stains the skin underneath your brows. So when you wake up in the morning, it's like your brows are already filled in. And I don't think everyone is gonna like this. I think if you have darker hair, this could work. It could save you time time and energy in the morning, but this actually pleasantly surprised me. Next, we're gonna make your eyes look 10 times bigger and better than they did before. So you're going to need a black eyeliner and a white or beige eyeliner or a tight liner. This is actually by the brand Tarte and it's called Fake Awake. How cool is that name? Um, because a lot of people kind of know this trick already where they take a white, a white eyeliner pencil and put it on the bottom uh, waterline and it can brighten your eyes, but it looks a little fake. And that's why I think the beige color is way better and way more natural. But let's start with the black. You wanna put that on the top waterline and that's going to make your eyelashes look longer and fuller. It tricks the eye, but then go in with the fake awake or the beige. Again, you could do white and put that on the lower lash line and it makes your eyes look bigger and just prettier. Now we're gonna come back to the rest of that, but I wanted to share another eye trick if you have blue eyes. I saw this on TikTok. I am not taking credit for this. I just had to share it with you because it is so good if you have blue eyes. So I'll put, you know, the video here, her handle and everything. I'm pretty sure she kind of like invented this, but what you need to do is get a blue, like a bright blue eyeliner. And you're going to put the blue eyeliner on your waterline, but just in the center to kind of extend or brighten your blue eyes. And then you can put some black, kind of around the edges, but that center blue brightens and makes your eyes pop. I mean, look at that. It is, it's such an impressive trick. Okay, so back to my eyes. If you're like me and you struggle with super short stubby lashes, you might wanna try this lash extension fiber stuff. Like this is almost so weird. It's not like regular lash extensions and it's not like strip lashes. So what you do is you put on one layer of mascara like normal, but then you go in with this stuff and it looks kind of like mascara, but it's not. There's like little micro fibers on this and you brush it on to the wet mascara that you put on and it literally kind of like makes you look like you have extensions. Like it extends your lashes, makes them look fuller and longer and then you lock it in with another coat of mascara. Now I will say this does give you some fallout afterwards. So you have to brush off the fibers that like fall down onto your face. It doesn't like smear or anything, but just keep that in mind. But I really think the before and after of my lashes is pretty darn significant. I've talked about this before, but this lash comb or lash separator can really come in handy when you're trying to build up your lashes because you can literally brush through your lashes to separate them and make them not look clumpy because you're not gonna look pretty if your lashes are clumpy and gross. So I shared that blue eye trick that will instantly make your blue eyes pop. And so that got me thinking like, what can the girls with brown or green, you know, my color eyes, what, what can we do? And we could do something similar with maybe like an olive green eyeliner. It's just really hard to find that shade. So I discovered L'Oreal's Voluminous Maroon or Burgundy Mascara. And this is a subtle, 
pop. But if you have brown or green or hazel eyes, you should try this maroon mascara because it's like the opposite on the color wheel. It, it just really subtly makes your green or hazel or brown eyes look more vibrant. Um, and so here is the, the, the difference between black and this burgundy. And I do have that lash extension stuff on underneath. So I feel like this isn't popping as, as much as it could, but it's still like a subtle difference that I think will make you look better, but people won't even be able to pinpoint why. Now this is a repeat trick, but I don't even care because it works for literally everyone. It's using a shimmer eyeshadow stick in the corner of your eye. It takes like four seconds, but you can see the immediate difference from this eye to this eye. This eye looks more awake, it's better, it's younger, it's youthful. You should just try it if you haven't. Now we're coming back to the lips, but from a different perspective and angle. So if you wanna look prettier and more attractive, one thing you can do is have whiter teeth. You can use the strips, you could go to your dentist, but a faster way to trick the eye and to people thinking you have super white teeth is to actually wear red lipsticks with blue undertones. Now, I hate wearing red lipsticks. You guys do too. Like, I'm not the only one. It smears, it's messy, it's just difficult. So, I have discovered this and it works very well. It's using the peel off lip stains. Have you guys seen this? It really works. So, this is me demonstrating it. Um, it comes in tons of colors. This is actually the first time I've ever used this particular color, but you paint it on your lips, very similar to that brow tint that I showed you previously, but you paint it on your lips, let it dry and sit there for 15 minutes. You'll feel your lips. If it's not sticky anymore, you'll, you'll know, okay, it's time to peel it off. And you literally just like peel it off like it's skin and it truly stains your lips. And you can then put a lip gloss over top of it and I do just wanna say like this color kind of surprised me because it is pretty bright. They're not all this bright, but you wanna go for maybe just like a, a very cool tone because that will cancel out the yellow in your teeth and make them appear a lot whiter. But even if that's not your goal, this lip stain just really is cool because as the gloss wears off, like it doesn't smear, it lasts all day, even into the next day. You know, a lot of people are doing those lip blushes where it's kind of like a tattoo on your lips. Don't do that. Just try this. It, it lasts a long time. So those are my instant tricks. Don't forget about Vegamore's new weightless hair oil. I'll have them linked down below along with my code Shay for 20% off site-wide. You can check this out along with their other products. And then everything else I talked about in this video will be linked down below as well. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.